I don't know what to do. That's annoying! It looks terrible. We're hiding these. Ow! What is going on here? This is a joke. Where's the dish? This should be really obvious. Oh dear, oh dear. Hello boys, and welcome to our special guest, Poppy. Sorry about the voice, I was back on the cigars at the weekend. Are you ready for this? I'm more than ready for this. I'm, I'm intrigued to see what um, chaos and havoc is being had. Janice, um, what's the theme? In honour of Poppy, the potato queen of social media, today's theme is, of course, potato. And I'm not just looking for any potato dish, I'm looking for a dessert that celebrates this ingredient. <laughs> you, sorry, you want a potato dessert? You will each have 10 minutes on the clock and Poppy will be watching the chaos unfold from the chef cam area. Poppy, you will get to decide when you jump in and have your turn. Okay, oh, so what? So you have all the power? I've got all the power. So we've got to make a sweet mm. potato dish, not a sweet potato dish. You've got to pick an order. You've Who do you want to kickstart all... this? You're good at changing things into desserts. You yeah. go first. <laughs> <laughs> Have I sabotaged this already? No, this is excellent. That's the worst! <laughs> oh, you've got to steer this. Then I feel like... Oh, no. No, 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 no. We've got this. We will shape this. We've got... I know. <laughs> Even Janice is shaking her head right now. Benny can finish. No, 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 you're going third. Barry, Jamie, I'll go third and you're leaving. Mike to last and you're going to jump in when we need saving. Yes, yeah. I'm just intrigued to see where you'll go with it at the end. <laughs> Home, hopefully. <laughs> I just leave it and go home. Okay. This, ah, oh, I can't stand going first. <laughs> the panic. The panic that's already in his eyes is brilliant. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. So I'm going to focus on the finishing touches. I don't know what the main kind of the main thing of this dish is going to be. But I've got a few cool ideas which I think would work on top of whatever we do. Oh, he's put us in. I'm going to cut these up fine and deep fry them into crisps, and then cover them with icing sugar so they'll work on top of whatever we do. Oh, that sounds like quite a good idea. And I think they're like for apple. For, they're yeah. potatoes that I've never cooked before, but I've seen around. <laughs> and I'm intrigued to know what they taste like, so I'm going to cook them. Right? Caramelise them. Love that. Couple spoons of cast sugar in a pan. What, what do these look like inside? Oh, like a potato. Who knew? This is the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> I think it was Mike who made a fondant potato on a parcel episode and it was delicious. So I kind of want to do a fondant potato but in sugar and butter. So usually for like a pink fur potato, because they're so delicious and like special, you don't really touch them, you want to just keep them like, like a bit like a slab like he is, but maybe in butter. They're a bit waxier, so they will hold their shape. Whatever he's trying to do with them, I have no idea. Let's cut these finely. They are very thin. They'll be fine. Now, if you do cook with purple potatoes at any point, they're actually more purple the day after. There we go. Top tip for you. We don't have time for that today. It may sound like I'm passing the buck, um, and you'd be right, it's exactly what I'm doing. If I was in there now, I'd have made mashed potato, because mashed potato is a really good base for desserts, because it's like a binding agent. So you can make like a shoe pastry and put mashed potato through it. You can make donuts and put mashed potato through it. Right, ready? Going in. <laughs> I don't want to step in on the first go, I'm going to let him continue on this journey of discovery of whatever this is. Now that's done, going in with these. Okay. It's smoking. I am out of my depth. Right, that looks like caramelly. Let's put some potatoes in caramel. They're raw. Okay, right, then I need some butter in there as well. They look minging. That is not what I expected to happen. Okay, so while that's in there, let's go in with a bit of booze as well. Apple alcohol, something like that. Yeah, go on, throw it in. The lot, we're going to need it. 20 seconds, uh, I need some ice and sugar. That looks minging. <laughs> it might have worked. Tell you what, for now, I'm going to give myself a four. Who's next? Oh, f 
up, it's Jamie. Okay, my initial thoughts were potatoes in dessert. We've done before. We've put mashed potatoes in donuts. That could have been a great place to start. Is he doing like bananas and caramel type thing, but with potatoes? Just bin it, just bin it. <laughs> onions? Is it onions? None of this is very nice. I'm panicking. I think if we boil some potatoes to get mashed potato, at least we've then got a base that can move in a different direction. Yes. Purple potato mash. Good place to start. These are quite small already. Should I peel them? Oh, oh I'm having a terrible time. <laughs> Do you know what? You don't need to peel purple potatoes. You can at least cut them down a bit smaller, quicker. Usually, you bring potatoes up to temperature. Love that. But today, we're not. Love that knowledge that he's got of potatoes. Anything grown underground in cooked in cold water, bring it up. Anything over the ground cooked in boiling water. You've had half of your time. Half my time. Excellent. We have nothing. Uh. I mean, I'm not going to do anything else with these, so rather than completely waste them, let's pop them in there. Yeah, sure, try one, see what you think. I do not know what we have. This is the worst thing we've ever done. I just feel like all I can do at the moment is give options for someone with some more direction to come in. I think you're a hint that I should go and save it. I'm gonna make up some smash, why not? I mean, it's the best option we have so far. Instant mashed potato, hated by chefs, loved by real people. Don't need to read it, just get it in a bowl. Let's make six portions, 180 grams. 180 on the dot, two. Oh my God. 900 mil, oh my God. boiling water. We have not got time for this in any way, shape or form. I'm on the edge of my seat. Should I? He's got two minutes. I'm go, I'm coming in, I'm coming in, I'm coming in. Oh no. Okay, cool, so I'm gonna grab some bits. And we're gonna try and make some kind of blackberry smash donut. Now I have no recipe for what this is gonna be, but I'm hoping at least we'll have something that's be edible at the end of it. Now where Poppy's going wrong here is by thinking that doing something edible is passable. This is a debate that we've had many, many times. <sighs> hopefully, hopefully something comes of this. We're gonna put some mash in here. Realistically, we needed to just have mash straight on the go. You can do a donut, you can do a shoe pastry. We're going to go for some kind of donut-y, beignet -y creation that I'm not quite sure what it is yet, but hopefully it will go somewhere a little bit further than raw potato. Okay, sugar. Still mildly stressed, but I think we'll have something sweet, delicious. Oh, it's very sweet, love that. I need some flour. This, there was already cooked tinned potatoes. Why did nobody pick that up? Everyone went fancy and went like, oh, I'll go with these ingredients I don't know how to use or what they are. Not in this sort of situation, lads. Not in this sort of situation. A little bit of flour to help bind. Half of your time gone. Oh my God, halfway already. Okay, I feel bad now because the time goes so much quicker than you expect it to go. Oh my God, it's so easy to make a mess. Ha, ah, I need a pan, get some compotty sort of thing on. Is this still on for some reason? That's gonna go on high. We're gonna get some blueberries in there. Why not, let's go for the raspberries as they're already falling in. Gonna get some custard. But I suppose beignets are a little bit like this. All right, see what happens. Get some icing sugar onto here. Move all this out of the way. This is up temperature, woo! Okay, so let's see. Ah, let's see if the vision has worked. We have something that's floating. Fingers crossed it comes out like what I want it to come out like. Oh, one minute, I'm gonna do another one. So you've got a hot spoon, so it'll just fall straight off, hopefully as a nicer Quinelli looking thing. There we go. I'm gonna get that one out. <laughs> panic, 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 panic. Get that one out, get that one out. Ooh. Ah. And here's what's gonna be in book number two. Custard potato donuts. Strong 10, just saved it. We might actually have something that's edible. Jamie, tag team, you back in love. Oh, well, having been subbed out, I'm now back. Woo! My smash was useful. Sweetened mashed potato, these are great. Let's make some more mashed potato balls. So it turns out, bringing a chef in can actually be really helpful. Who would have thunk it? That feels like that's gonna turn into jam. I don't feel like we need this stuff. These ones aren't coming out exactly like Poppy's ones. Do we think that's a problem? 
Yes? Right. Well, we've had 30 minutes in total now. The only thing that's worth keeping is from the 10 minutes that Poppy was in here. Um, so I'm going to give myself two. Ebus! Oh dear, oh dear. Oh my God! What is going on? Prepare for new depths of ineptitude as Pass It On goes live. It sounds like a great idea. On Thursday, August 26th, we stream three live shows across three time zones. Oh, but what is that? And you decide what goes down. That, so wait a minute, was silly. Where, where do you go with this? More chaos, more panic. No! Dennis. <laughs> Pass it on live. No, Jamie! When it's live, there's nowhere to hide. Tickets available at Sardar Duck Club. Right, what we got here? Some fried doughy things, which feel dense and look like they might have potato in, something jammy. Might as well get them back on. Let's see what they're like. Yes. What are they? What is going on? Right, let's start doing something. This fried dough looks like it needs some help, as in I don't think it's quite there. Those have absorbed quite a bit of oil. I'm gonna go again. I've put this caramel back on. I think I'm going to add some booze to it. It's already got the booze in. And then we want some texture. So I'm gonna make, hopefully, a quick granola kind of thing that Mike can that. sprinkle on at the end. I did see some cherries, which are wonderful at this time of year. A Little bit of oil, a little bit of sugar and some honey. I think we need some fresh fruit. <gasps> oh! Don't get a close up on that, Ed. So what I did was I threw the soggy, greasy ones on the floor to make room for the fresh, crispy ones. Some fresh cherries, cherry, apple, wonderful combo. Okay, I get it, but he's gone for one of the most fiddliest of fruits. He's got two minutes left. I feel like Poppy must already have been in because there's a lot happening here for just two normals. Then the last thing is dairy. We're gonna need something rich and dairy-like to bring this together. Yogurt. Yogurt be nice, bit of sourness. Remember our seasoning triangle, even in desserts, acid, salt, sugar. Layering up, love that. With a little bit of the booze. So a little bit of boozy cherry. Nice touch. That's what we're looking for. It's a great batter that's been made. And that's my time up. It's a confused dish. Will Mike know what to do with it? I'll give myself six out of 10. Mike! I can't tell you how much I hate going last. Right, we got stuff. Oh, are they cooked? I'm gonna say yeah. I can't work out whether that's nice, but then we're not eating it raw. I assume that that's that. Okay, oh, it's sweet. Ah, oh, do something. Oh, oh. I'm gonna get a plate. I've just got to move. I've got to get a plate. So what am I gonna do? Ah, oh, the No. <laughs> what are these? Do I do something with that? No. I'm just leaving it. Yes. What the hell are they? Oh. Anchovies. No, they taste worse than anchovies. The saltiest cherries. Oh. I don't know if they're nice. Why are they so salty? Ben's obviously gone for a panicked over seasoning there, but it could work. It could cut through everything. Do I want this over? This is really hard. I wish this hadn't separated. This is just like, I don't know what this is. It looks terrible. What do we do? I've just got to commit. So maybe, like, we want some colour. Look, I'm going over the top. Screw it, guys. Oh, do I want to use these? Right, I'm going to be completely... Right, start again. Refresh. They are salty. They're too salty. Leave them off. Do you know what? I'm going to pop on them on there because someone's done them, but I'm not going to get any of the juices. This is quite sticky. I'm doing that thing in Pass It On where trying to do something that's out of my reach, and that is trying to do something dainty. I'm having a terrible time. It just still doesn't look good. Shall I give that a dusting? Screw it, why not? I'm here. Yes. Yes. I don't even know what it is. I did nothing but put stuff on a plate and I feel I did it badly. So I'm gonna give myself a two. Let's hope it tastes good, eh? <laughs> mm. 
Ready, everyone? Oh, yeah. Potato dessert. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, wicked. I think. That looks worse than I remembered it. <laughs> yeah. I'm really surprised at what's on that plate. It feels quite autumnal toffee apple kind of vibes, yeah, but like with potato. It. it smells actually really nice. I got a bit of a waft. Sorry, that was me. <laughs> That was delicious. What are you eating? <laughs> Cheers. 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 Oh, that's nice. Oh, I think it works. What is that? It's all the buttery, sugary, caramelly, and then slightly fruity flavours that you want from a dessert. Mm. I think the textures are slightly odd. I need to have some of this on its own, because I'm unsure whether it's caramelised or just underdone. It might be both. <laughs> the thing with pink fur potatoes, they're quite waxy. Mm. And I feel like you've got that waxy quality. Whether you want that on dessert, I don't know, but that's what it's delivering. It's delivering what mm. that potato does. Mm. It's giving me chestnut vibes. Mmm. Like, so yeah, it can good be shout. seen in a dessert. But it isn't, it isn't bad. I like everything on that plate, apart from this potato. That, to me, doesn't work. Let's go back to the beginning then. Mm -hmm. How did we get here? It was a struggle, I'll tell you that from <laughs> watching it on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I'd do a fondant potato mm. with a caramel. I spent the first five minutes panicking. I can make smash. And as I started to make smash, I had two and a half minutes left, and there was this almighty shouting alarm bell ringing from the other side of the studio, and Poppy told me to stop what I was doing <laughs> so that she could come in instead. Good save. Uh, that is, it's almost accurate, but what you have left out of that is that you tried to peel the tiniest purple potato for about two minutes or so. <laughs> we also then took about another minute and a half reading the box of the smash and how to make it. I was it. trying to work out what the ratios were. <laughs> for clarity, yeah. you boiled a kettle. It was already boiled, oh, it was actually. Already boiled. <laughs> when I came back in, it was like coming into a whole different kitchen <laughs> in a whole different situation. Didn't even matter after you got in there, did it? <laughs> no. Um, so I stepped in, and in my panic, I thought, these soggy beignets aren't great. I'll throw those on the floor. And by that, I mean I completely knocked them off the bench. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing was actually you tasted the caramel and went that needs alcohol and it already had quite a lot of alcohol in there already. So I think you've got a problem. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think a dessert needs a little bit of booze and when a little bit of booze isn't working, add a bit more. Yeah, That's, yeah. That, oh, that is excellent. I don't think we did well though. Well, once it was all on a spoon and in your mouth, it actually tasted pretty decent. The colours are strong, the textures are odd. Mm. Yes. And yeah, I don't know what you'd call it on a menu. Gave myself a four, which I thought was generous in the end, <laughs> honest. On reflection, it was very generous. It's a fail, because I don't think my potatoes are very nice. <laughs> I scored myself a two. I think it's a fail for me. I don't, I don't agree with it. Well, I very confidently gave myself a ten, because you can't back yourself <laughs> then back the <laughs> really. Anyway. <laughs> you got to back yourself until the end. Um, I think, in retrospect, I probably went a bit too high with the backing, <laughs> but um, I believe in it. I, p I passed this dish. The only one thing is that, that that slab of potato is a bit odd, but that's not that terrible. I'd still eat it. I, I gave myself a six. There was there was a lot of flapping, but I think in total, I have to agree with Poppy. It's not a great pass, but it is a pass just. I got myself a two. But I think when you put it on a spoon and eat that whole lot together, you got, yes, albeit some weird textures, and actually worked quite well in my opinion. So I'm gonna pass it, but only just. I think maybe we see something in it that yeah. has potential. It's got, it's got potential. We agree it's not perfect, but we see the potential. Yeah. Maybe it's actually really chefy and we just don't get it. It's yeah. decadent. That's it. And we just don't understand it. The big question is. Did you enjoy it? I loved it. I love the chaos of it. <laughs> it's absolutely bonkers. It's great. Well, over to you. Is it a pass or fail? Comment down below. Let us know your thoughts. And a massive thank you to Poppy for coming in and just raising the spirits and, you know, also the quality of the dish. I agree. Yeah, the spirits and the just... standards. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, where can people find out more about you? Uh, I'm on TikTok and Instagram at poppy underscore cooks on both. Lovely. And we're also going to put a link down below to a cookbook pre-order. Oh, Excellent. How what a plug. Thank you. Oh, I guess we'll hopefully see you again sometime soon. Come back. <laughs> great. <laughs> Damage is done. Did you have a neighbour's panic? No, I just went through to get some fruity stuff and my hips 
boom. Sometimes you just... He's been auditioning for Strictly. <laughs> and he just can't separate... Caught an edge. ...work from fun. It's the Ebba strut. Boom! <laughs> it's the head. It's the head. Kapil, kapil, kapil.